Someone send help. I have officially lost my mind. All I can see is white. It's all blurring together. Come with me down this rabbit hole, won't you? Okay, let's talk paint colors. These are the samples that I got. Would you believe that these are all white? They look so different. So this color was actually a custom color from our last home that looked super white in that house, but it does not look white at all in this house. So the ones that I'm kind of leaning toward are these two right here. I like the gray undertones in this one. This was Sherwin-Williams Pure White. So I wanna test it because we got a lot of whites that we're working with in here. This is white. And the ceilings are white, and I would love to not have to paint the ceilings. So I want one that coordinates with both of those two things, but I still like the undertone and everything. It's, it's a lot. like this color or this color better? Guess what? They're the same color. Paint color update. Guess which one I picked? None of them because I'm crazy. So we have another sample now. We'll see if this one works. I may just keep buying paint for the rest of my life. We'll see. Nothing works. Too pink, too yellow, too yellow, too white. My name is Kelsey and I want everything white all the time. Okay, I think we've got a color. Finally. <laughs> so I think this is the one that we're going with right here. I know they kind of all look the same. I know. But this one right here is a combination of Chantilly Lace and um, Simply White by Benjamin Moore. They're both by Benjamin Moore, but I had them color matched at Sherwin-Williams. Um, so, of course, it's... It's not as easy as just, you know, going in and getting a paint color, two of them mixed together, but it's a really good match for like the built-ins and it's just enough warmth that I wanted for the walls. And I'm hoping that I like it and this white paint saga will finally be over. Um, so this one's it right here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and get started priming first because our walls are a little bit, they were going much lighter. They're going, um, these are much darker. Anyway, fun fact, I had my entire house painted, my last house, this color, and uh, and the house was freshly painted right before we bought it. And so my husband was like, this is your color. Why are you changing it? This is your color. And I was like, but it's not this house's color. So this is what we're doing, but I thought that was really funny. <laughs>
belly bucket. This is a joke. <laughs> have you ever had paint up your nose? I have now. on the floors. I'm so excited. My family came into town this past weekend and they helped me do so much for the floors. We got so much done. So it's going to be slower doing it by myself. But here is how they are looking. Oh, I'm so happy with them. I went back and forth on these floors, but I'm like, I'm really happy with my choice. This island is driving me crazy. I really want to finish it. So, but I can't finish it until I finish the floors. So yeah, I'm trying to get that taken care of because like the floors have been what's holding me up. So here we go. So I'm marking the height of this flooring underneath the, so like the door jams right here. So I'm gonna use like an oscillating saw to cut into it so I can just slide the flooring underneath it and I don't have to try to like make these cuts like down there, just like the curved cuts. So it'll just be so much easier when I go to lay the flooring.
Okay, we've got most of the flooring done. I didn't record it because my husband came home a little bit early from work to help me and he didn't want to be on camera and I was not gonna say no and not have the help. But what I'm trying to work on now is laying, like I had to cut out some pieces of the baseboards for some different places. And so now I'm gonna put those back and then we have to go through and install all this quarter round right here and it also hides any imperfections in the floor and then we're going to basically just cock our life away. ever be a morning when I wake up not sore. DIY is so much fun and so rewarding, but it hurts. Any guesses on what we're doing today? Hello, paint pants. Before we paint, we gotta sand all this down right here, the wood filler, and then we have to go around and tape down here and caulk underneath so it looks seamless and then we can finally paint and maybe in 20 years we will be done with the floors. <laughs>
never ends Let's be a more than friends Yeah You know I'm here to stay Every single day That's it for today's video. I know it wasn't a dramatic room transformation, but it's made the biggest um, difference in the overall feel of our home and I'm really happy with it. But make sure you're subscribed because we do have some dramatic room makeovers coming up. Thanks for watching, bye.